Hi everyone, my name is Moni. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we have another Filler Friday for you. It is for Noctiluca. This one's designed by Shem Phillips and published by Z-Man Games. It plays one to four players in about roughly 30 minutes. And so if you're not familiar with Shem Phillips, he is the designer of a lot of the popular uh, Renegade titles. Yeah. Namely, The Architects of the West Kingdom, uh, Paladins, Paladins of the West Kingdom. That whole series, yep. basically. Raiders of the North Sea. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is interesting because it is a faster... You know, kind of like an abstract, fillery type game, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Very pretty. So what we're going to do today is we're going to play through it. We'll give a short review at the end. Uh, but before we get started, we'd like to kindly please ask that you turn on your Klingon subtitles just in case we make any of those mistakes. And if you enjoy content like this and would like to see more, please consider subscribing. And now we are going to get started. So if you'd please direct your attention to this end of the table, we are all set up for <laughs> diving deep and capturing these uh, little Noctiluca. Yes, right? in the form of dice. That's right. In this game, we are deep diving into the waters to try to collect these Noctiluca, which are bioluminescent creatures. And uh, the reason why we're doing this is because apparently they have healing properties. Allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. So we are going to put them in jars <laughs> to use them for these healing properties. But I'd like to think of it as we are just kind of, a, we're saving them from a dangerous situation. We're going to go with that. Essentially, this is dice collection, fulfilling yeah. orders on cards. Yes. Yeah. So, just to kind of give you a tour of the board, we have the waters here and all of the dice, the colored dice, are the Noctiluca, if you haven't gathered that already. We each also have these pawns that we're going to be using to set out onto the board to collect these Noctiluca. There are 12 of them total. In a two-player game, we each have six. In higher player counts, you just divide them evenly yep. amongst all the players. Of course, we also have our jars. There are four stacks of them. We're each also going to start the game with two of them face up in front of us. And they're showing us what combinations of Noctiluca we need to fulfill these orders. They're basically like orders that we're filling in a game. So the game is very simple. The way that it works is starting with the first player and whoever's first player will have these this first player marker. You're basically going to take your turn by putting out a pawn in one of these spots here, choosing a direction, either this way or this way in a straight line, and each of these pods has two different directions, mm -hmm. and then calling out one number. Then you get to collect all of the dice in that straight line that have the same number, regardless of color. Right. So in this example, if I were to put this here and say, I'm going to face this way and I'm going to say number three, then I would take all of the threes, three, 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 like this, and this one, and it would go in front of me. And say, because typically you would start the game with two of these face up. Okay, so say we had these two cards as our starting jars, and I collected these threes. So now what I would do is I would fill as many of my jars as I can with these colors. So I have an orange, purple, green, and blue. I can say this purple will go here. This orange I would have to choose between the jars because once you put them in a jar, you can no longer move them. So say I want to actually just try to fill up this jar as much as possible. I'll put the blue one there as well. I cannot put the green. So any of your leftover dice must be passed to the player sitting to your left in the first round. In the second round, we go counterclockwise. First round, you go left. So in a two-player game. Doesn't it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> so this goes to Naveen. Okay. And then Naveen will try to fit that die somewhere in his I'll jars. put it right here. Yes. And he is only allowed to take one. When dice are passed to you, you get to place one, and then you must pass the rest of them onward, and you keep on passing this way until either no more dice remain, or uh, you can no longer fit the remaining dice in the jars. And those dice would just go back to the box. So that means if there was more left over, it would go back around to right. Monique. Yeah. Yes. And so that's pretty much how turn structure works. Once you've completed a jar, so say I had another purple right there, I've completed this jar, I would basically remove the dice, and I get a, a, a scoring token of whatever color the jar is. So this is the moon yellowish type of jar. Yeah, there's three types in the game. Yes, and these are the three types here. They're, they're stacked in three different stacks. I would just take the topmost, which is going to score me two points at the end of the game. These tokens increase in value as they go as you go lower and lower in the stack. Yeah, the highest value is an eight at the bottom. Yes, so I would take these. I have now have two points, and I would flip this over. Some jars also come with innate points if you are able to fulfill it. So at the end of the game, this jar is going to get me just one point for fulfilling it. And once I've completed a jar, I now choose from one of the four, uh, four face-up stacks uh, to replace that jar that I had because you're always going to have two face-up jars to work with. So say I want to score this one. And that's pretty much how the game mm -hmm. goes. You do this over and over again until all 12 pawns have been placed. So that's six each in a two-player game. And then you play a second round, but this time going counterclockwise. Right. And whoever places the last pawn gets to go first in the next round. So they take this. And then at the very end of the game, you're going to score points. 
What we didn't mention earlier is each player also gets a uh, secret colored Noctiluca that's going to be their private, kind of like a private objective. Yep. So if I have the purple one, this is going to come to me at the start of the game and I'm going to put it face down in front of me. So now I have just like the player aid scoring guide face up. And so once the second round is over, then the game will end and we'll go into final scoring. So uh, we just kind of follow this guide right here. The first thing that happens is we score for the majorities of these tokens. So this is kind of an interesting part. You basically see who the player is that has the most amount of tokens per color. Right. And that's not the sum of the values, that's right. a number of tokens. Physical tokens. Yes. Yeah. So if I took the most number of yellow, say Naveen didn't take any yellow, then what happens is I actually get the rest of this stack. I flip them upside down and they're each worth one point. So that goes to the player with the majority. If there's a tie, then the tied players share them. And that's true for all three colors. Yes, you get for all three colors. And then you add up all the points that you have on the tokens. You add up the points for all of the cards that you've completed, the jars, which are face down at this point. Then you add up the points that you get for your private Noctiluca color. So in this example, I would have one point per purple Noctiluca that I have in my completed jars. So this would score me two points just for this jar. And then lastly, for any Noctiluca dice that you have left over in your jars, you get one point for every two. And then whoever has most points wins. So we are going to reset for our game and then we're gonna get started. Okay. Okay, we're all set up. We reset the board and now we are choosing two of these three uh, jars to keep. Yes. So, so we also have our uh, secret objective Noctiluca and I'm going to flash mine. Oh, Ready? All right. Okay, go ahead. Okay. This one's mine. You got that? Okay, you want to flash yours? Did you flash it to the up camera or to the down one? This one. Okay. Ready? This one is mine. <laughs> okay. What is it? <laughs> Tell me. Okay, we don't know who goes first. So I'm Actually, I forgot one. For right now. <laughs> okay. So now we can choose our starting ones. Sure. I'm going to keep this one. And I will keep this one. Cool. I keep these ones. Okay. Ready? I flip them up. One, two, three. Oh. There you go. Oh, did you almost reveal your Noctiluca? Nope. <laughs> Now let's see who goes first. One, two, three. You. Oh, it's me. Okay. So I get this. Yes, you do. And I will begin by putting out a pawn. Okay, so let's see. What do we need here? Okay, I am going to start by putting a pawn right here. And we're going to go this way. And I'm going to say sixes. Sixes. Yes, so it's these two. We got blue, orange. We got orange, purple. So once you take these dice off the board, the, the, the numbers mean absolutely nothing. It's just all about the colors at this orange, point. Blue, yes. Okay. So I have three orange, which I'm going to place now in my jar. This jar right here. It makes sense. Three orange, two blue, and a purple. So unfortunately for Naveen, I don't have any leftover Noctiluca Could for do you. Okay. <laughs> but that's it. That's me. That's it. Yep. So that's that, one if, of six. So if it's not clear, only one... Uh, spot one pawn. So I cannot yes. go here and then be like, I will do the same thing. There are 12, 12 pods so around. It'll tighten up. The water hole. Okay, I think I'm going to be your neighbor here. I'm going to go here and Hello, say uh, four is going this way. So I'll take one. Oh, that's, oh. This is a four, I promise. <laughs> four. And then these are all fours. Wow. And just like you. You're going to fit them all? You will not have any of these. Ooh, what jars are you working on there? That's some interesting, interesting, here. interesting. Okay. Okay. Back to me? Yep. Oh, so last turn, I actually completed this jar. Yes. So yeah. I should have uh, turned it in and taken a new jar. So I will do that now. Yeah, technically it didn't affect anything. Yeah. So these these There's go out, out of, the game. Yeah. of the, or they're going to get put They'll in come the back second round. We'll see later. I completed this jar. And so I get a token of that type, which is this brown tree, like, was that like a coral or something? Sure. So that's going to go in front of me. This gets flipped face down in my completed pile, and I get to take one of these. So, hmm, let's go with this one. It's still early. It is still early. All right, so now back to me. I'm gonna go here and go this way. Okay. And I'm gonna say fives. So that's these two. I have this one. This one. That one. That's yeah, it. That's it, yep. Wow, That's that wasn't plan. as cool as my brain <laughs> thought it was going to be. Got to add it So up. three oranges and a blue. So Not I'm going to put all three of these oranges right here and a blue right there. So back to you, Navi. Back to me. Okay, so I'm going to place this one over here. And we're going to face this direction going this way. And I'm going to take all the ones. 
Oh, that's so good. So, well, I don't have that much space, uh, but I need this to complete both of these things. So these, do you see any more ones? No, that's it. Okay, so this green will go here, so that will complete. Uh, this purple will go here and here, and this blue will go here. So both of these are gonna complete. Because I have this excess dice, it's gonna fit perfectly in there for you. Thank you. But I did, I love it. I did <laughs> complete two of these, So and they're both the yellow ones. So I take one, two of these. Wow, that's five points. And these all go away. And then these will go flip down, and I'll just keep them kind of tucked over there. And now I get to select two new ones. Yes. So. You can do them one at a time. I can do them one at a time. Because you're supposed to choose the order. Yeah, I you... will. I'll take one. And then I will take, I like this one point right here, red. I'll take two. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah. Someone's trying to get in on the red game. I have to. Um, all right. That's it. That's it. Yep. Okay. I'm going to go here. Okay. And we're going to go this way. And I'm going to say threes. So let's go three, three. Three? I think that's it. That's it, huh? Three threes. Wow. Okay, so it's two blues and a purple. I'm putting that purple right there. And these two blues right here, which completes this jar. It's a big one. Yeah, that's a two-pointer uh, card. And this is the same kind of token as that one. So the brown token. This will get flipped over. And I get to choose a new jar. So you are in the... Yellow the moon, game. The moon game. Yes. Is that a moon? Yeah. It's a moon right there. Right? I think it's it like a be. moon. Okay, I have no idea. Actually. I'm gonna moon. take this one. Really? Yeah. Exposing that to moon. That's right. For the future. Good luck. I mean, the higher point cards are harder to complete because they, they have much more of the same colored Noctiluca. They just have more. Just more? Yeah. yeah so. All right, so I will go here and I will take the ones. So. <sighs> These two ones. That is what I wanted. Really? Yeah. That okay. was what I had my eye on. So all those. And I think I can place them all. Green, uh, blue, blue, and then orange right here. It doesn't, you don't have to keep the number yeah. face up. Sure. There we go. Okay. I have three left. Uh, I'm going to go here. And we're going to go this way. Okay. And we're going to do ones. So it's only these three. There you go. But nothing's passing, huh? Uh, no, nothing's been passing, but I'm going mm. to complete this jar mm. right here. And so these go out. I get a red token. And this gets flipped over. And now I am going to choose a new jar. Let's go red again. All right? Nice. All Another right, turn? so I have three more turns. It's getting tighter and tighter. <laughs> it's like tight but not yet like there's still a lot of dice on the board just not in the right combo though yes yeah. that's the trick they're not in the most ideal combos and like you don't really want to pass more dice to your opponent unless it's like a die color that they don't need maybe totally it looks like you have a little bit of everything yes <laughs> okay i think i'm just gonna go here and then claim the what was it again the fours. <laughs> Wait, which which direction are you looking? Sorry, going this way right here. Okay, so this yeah. one, this one, this one, and this one. So these are your fours. Those are my fours. Yeah. So this one is gonna go here, completing that one. Uh, this one's gonna go here, and then because this is completed, uh, this is done. Nice. And then I get a new card. You pass the dice first. Those are gonna be passed. Yes. Yeah. So the green ones go to me. Yeah. And do you, do you want to? I should, because I'm going to get another green coming back to me. So I will take, and be, that was a brown one. So this tile is going to come over here. And now I will take this one right over here. Okay. All right. All set. All right. We are getting everything upside down. Okay. Bunch so then I am only allowed to take one of these. So I'm just going to take one past this green one. Perfect. Back to you. The one I just brought in is going to go right there. Okay. That was our first passing. First pass, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So now I get to put out, I have two more. Two more. Two more. Okay. I'm going to put my pawn right here. We're going to go this way and I'm going to say twos. Okay. So that's this one, this one. We're going to go with this one. Yep. I think that's it. Just yeah, those that's three, it. right? 
So two greens. Oh, you have a space for it, wow. And a purple. So I'm completing this jar. These go out. This is the sun type of jar, so. <laughs> I thought it was a moon. Oh, what it's happened? a moon. <laughs> Sorry, what I don't happened? know. I'm confusing my uh, celestial bodies. Okay, so this is um, completed. It's gonna go face down, and now I get to take a new jar. They're all moons. Not good for me. Not good. Maybe I should just go for something that's gonna be hard and try to complete it in the second round. Let's do it. Right there. All right, your turn. Penultimate pawn of the first round. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why are you so stressed? They're cute. I'm trying to trying to manage this thing. Let's see. There was one that I saw earlier. Took my eye off it. Can't take your eye off it. Yeah, you can't. It's true. Okay, I'm gonna go here and take threes going this way. So there's only three of these. Nice. Are you feeling? Uh, I'm not gonna complete one. But we're getting. But you're close. taking all the. I'm taking them all. Nice. Yeah. Okay. That's it. All right. So you went. I have one last turn, and you have one last turn. So these are the only two options. So basically, yeah. choose which <laughs> one is going to suit you the most. Okay. For my last pawn, I'm placing it right there. Okay. We're gonna go this way, and I'm choosing sixes. Sixes. So it's green, blue, orange. Do I get anything? Nope. <laughs> Me thinks not. Okay. So it's orange, blue, and this green's gonna go right there. So I complete this jar. It's another uh, red jar, hey. thank you. Let's get the red token. This gets flipped face down. And then I get to take a new one of these. What are we thinking? Let's go with another red. Wow. So since this stack has been depleted, um, we don't refill it. That's We're it. only working with three now. Okay. That's it for me. Clever. So right. last turn of the first well, round. Well, I must go here. So now I gotta figure out what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna say uh, twos. This one and this one. Oh, that was a two, I promise. And they go one, two. Completing this one right here. So this will be worth one point at the end of the game. These all go out. Nice. I get a uh, red uh -oh. token. He's on to us. <laughs> and a new you. jar. Would you like moon, moon, or moon? Moon, moon, or moon, you say. Yep. I will take... I'll take high value moon. Ah, so you're saying your color is orange, maybe. Could be. Mm. I just like the points. What if I guessed it? <laughs> All right, that's it. Yep, that's it. Yep. So we are done with the first round. We are going to prepare for the second round. Since Naveen was a, the person who placed the last pawn, you get the the first player marker and I you do. flip it over to its number two side. It's only really relevant in higher player counts because it dictates the way that you're rotating turn order. Mm -hmm. So, but anyway, that's how that is. Okay. And now we okay. take all the pawns off the board as well as all of the dice Thank you. actually. Two. We are going to remove all the dice from the board and combine it with the ones that we removed as well as the ones that we didn't place and we're just going to refill it anew for the second yeah, round. so we strip this off. Mm -hmm. And we'll be back. BRB. All right, we are set up for our second round. We kind of just excused all the die rolling part of it, <laughs> but we're filled in and now Naveen is going to lead the way. I? You. <laughs> Well, I need a lot of orange and, and purple, so I'm trying to find a combination of a bunch of orange and purple. Okay, I see one. So I'm gonna go here and go down this direction, and I'm gonna take all the fives. Okay. So we got these two fives, these wow. three, these, wow. and this. Oh so, my goodness, okay, are you gonna so place? I don't think I'm gonna place them all. I think oh. I'm gonna pass. That these all go there. Wow. What a turn. What well, a roll. Maybe I should put this here. This one goes here. That's there. Now two of these are gonna pass. So I completed this one. So this is gonna pass to you and you're gonna make your decision. Uh, I am gonna complete this brown so I get one of these. This all goes out. I score this. Okay. So now I pick up a card and I think, hmm, well, since I'm not in the red game, Gosh, Monique is in the red game hard right now. Sickle. I have to kind of look at what colors are out there. Gosh, okay. This is the hardest I'll decision. Take this one because it gives a point. <laughs> okay. Right, there we go. Back in the moon game, I see. Okay. Back at it. So now I take one of these and oh, I should take the green one. You should, but you need the blues. There's not the Oh, one. I can have them both. Yes. I'm gonna take the green one. The blue one gets passed. It unfortunately does, and it gets passed right back because I don't <laughs> have a place to house it. 
couldn't take it, so then I put it on that jar. All right. Clever. Uh, that's you? Mm -hmm. So back to me. I need a lot of blues. I didn't realize I took so many, so mm -hmm. uh, let's see. I think it's time for you to pass me some dice. I don't want to pass A dice. dice. One die. Okay, you get one die. One die. All right. I'm going to go here. Uh, We're going this way, okay. and I'm taking fives. So it's this five, mm. these two five. You get what? what is going on over here. We have a fly. There's a fly in the house. Get okay. out. Yes, these three. So I'm going to take the two blue. Can't have those. That's fair. And then you I'm going to give those. you the purple. I'll take it. You get one die. That's it. That's all I'm passing for the rest of the game. We'll Accepted. See. Well, I already know what I want. I'm going to go here and I will take sixes. Ooh. So these two going this way, I should probably tell you. This, these two. Wow. And I think that's that. So. These two will go on here, completing this cheese slash sun slash moon. Cheese? <laughs> when did cheese ever? I said cheese. Come into the equation here. And then, see, I'm returning the favor right now. How much Are you, you passing need blue? me a blue? Thank you. Yeah, so this is going to complete this. So this I'm completing mine also. goes out of the game. Uh, scoring this, taking a yellow. All right, and which jar would you like? Well, I should be smart about this, shouldn't I? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll take this uh, red one over here, a little baby one. I'm just gonna fix that. Try to see if I can fulfill it. Okay. Uh, I completed my jar as well with nice. your with help. my generous blue. That's true. It's a co-op game. So there that goes. Right. I get a moon, and this gets flipped over, and I'm going to take this one. Wow. Okay, so now back to me. Let's. Doesn't seem right. Go. It goes back to you. Which part? Oh, that part. Yeah. yeah your turn now. Um, okay. Anything coming my way? Uh, we'll see. I'm gonna go <laughs> here. We're going this way. We've got a long stretch over here, and we're gonna go one. I see that. So one, one. This oh, is a you one. have a completely two naked cards. There's no way I'm getting one. anything. <laughs> and this is also a one. Okay. So we have two purples, a green, an orange, and a blue. So I completed this jar. Yeah. This goes away. Is that the, oh man, that's what you just got too. Yeah, that was a new one. Uh oh. And this that's gets dirty. flipped over. Uh, and I get to take a new jar. What jar? What are you having me? What are you doing over there? If you win all three categories, this is gonna be. I'm not gonna. Disappointing. <laughs> well, now that we're like, closing, closing in, I guess, on the end of the game, it's kind of harder to get certain. Like it's gonna be hard to get four greens, I would imagine. Oh well. Go get it. <laughs> Good luck. Like, what color is abundant here? Purple. There's a lot of purple. I don't. There's no purple. I'm gonna take this. No purple, just exposed. Wow. Yep. All right. I am going to go here and assess going this way, and I'm gonna take all the fours. So these three will come to Ooh. me, and these two will come to me. So unfortunately, this blue is yours. Ha. Ah. So <laughs> one, two. <laughs> And uh, I'll go one, two. I should finish this one off. Yeah, I was like, which one are you gonna finish? Three. Well, because these go up in value, yes. maybe I should hold off on it. Okay, you can. I'll go. Oh, three, I did. Four. What have I done? Because you have two red there, so if you yeah. make these go down, then my red when I complete will be more valuable. So I should. I should do that. Yes. Well, here you go. That's for you. Thank this you. is all done. So I get another yellow. Oh no, I dropped things. Okay. So I get another yellow. These all go away. This card goes out. And then now those are my options, huh? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, what did you say was no good? What? <laughs> <laughs> this is, oh, wow, that's so much. That's so much to, to work towards. Yeah. You only have three more pawns left. You have three more moves to take dice. Do you think you can score that combination? Or do you think you'll be able to get enough dice? I think I'm going to go points this for one. It the I'll end? go this one. Let's do it. All right. So the delicate balance between specializing in that type and not. OK. <laughs> I you agree. Have four turns and I have three. Is there any way you're going to give me dice in this game, Monique? Uh, I gave you one, if I recall. Another. All right, I'm going to go here. Oh, you I'm saw going something. this way. I'm taking fours. So we have these two plus this one. 
and this one. And they all go to you, huh? I don't know. I think yeah. yes. <laughs> yes, they do. You it's gonna go some good eyes. There. She well, brought out the glasses I'm wearing today. My glasses today. She brought out the glasses today, everyone. The green goes right oh there. Oh my gosh. I complete this jar. So oh my gosh. Bye bye. Like that. I get a red token. You do. And this gets flipped upside down. Sheesh. I'm gonna take one of those. Gosh, oh my gosh. gosh. What am I gonna do with you? It's the same for me. I'm gonna take this one because it's a lot less pressure as we near the end of the game. Yeah. All right, I will go here and I'm gonna go this way and deliver or take ones. So one, one, and one. So two orange and a green. Two orange and uh, a green. So you're fine over there. So, ah, okay, last three puns. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go here. Uh, and I'm gonna go this way for threes. So we have a three here, a three there. Nice. These three, wait, that, that was a three, right? And this three. And that three. Okay. Uh, so nobody's gonna get, oh, you are gonna get the purple. Oh. I will get the purple. All right, so these are the two orange, we have a blue, and I'm passing you the purple. Finally. <laughs> yes. I passed the die. You did. So you have two more pawns. I do. Boy. Well, I'll go here and take all the ones, which will be green, green, with no pass, completing this one and this one. All right, so I take the four for this one. I take the five for this one. These all wipe, and then I draw two new ones. Nice. So which two would you like? I'll take a red. I'll take this one. Oh, okay. And then I'll take, um, I basically right now I have to think of how can I get as many pairs of dice out here to get points at right. the very end. So I'll take that one. Uh, you know what? I'll just take this one. Right yeah. Now. Why not? Oh gosh. And you left me no purples. I did. Yeah. I left you. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Not cool. All right. So uh, I have two more pawns. I really just need one more blue to finish that off. These are the only spots left? One, two, three? Yeah. Oh boy. Not very good. All right, I'm gonna go here. I'm going this way and we're taking sixes, sixes. which are just these two. Oh. And Is I'm gonna complete? put one there and I'm completing this jar. Nice. So this goes out, I get a red token. You do. And this can get flipped upside down. I mean, at this point, what? I'm not going to be able to complete any of these. I'm not even going to be able to complete that. No. So I'll just take this one. Your turn. Last pawn. Well, I don't think there's any way I can get three uh, green and two purple. <laughs> so just find like the route. You only have two options. So yeah, what's going to get you just the most, most die bang for your buck? Well, if I go here and take the fives, mm -hmm. let's do it. So I'm gonna take these fives. This blue may come to you, money. Wow, that's a lot. That's wow. A lot, yeah, I know, but it didn't actually amount to. That was like a a grab bag of stuff. I know. I mean, it's close. Oh, I get the blue. Yep, I get the blue. Oh my gosh! Can I complete this jar? Don't do it. <gasps> you can only go here. Oh, I can't complete the jar. Yeah, because you can only... Yes, I can! Oh. oh my gosh, I can complete the jar! But can you help me complete my jar? Hold on, I'm going here. <laughs> We're going this way. No. For once. I didn't see it. Right there. Nice. So I don't have any leftover uh, dice remaining, but I guess who cares, right? So this is going out. I get this. You do. And this gets flipped over. Four and point. I'm technically right. I'm supposed to take a new one, but this doesn't matter because I don't have any dice left over. Mm -hmm. But that's it. The game is, it. is done. So let's score. First of all, we're going to score the majorities for each token type. How many uh, yellow moons do you have? Uh, oh, we have, have five. five. Yeah. I have two of them. So you get all of these. All of these. And Flip they them become, upside down. They become ones. Yeah. Okay. And then you get the rest of them. Um, yes. I only have two and two. Yeah. Okay. So then these That's a lot of ones. go like this. Okay. So then let's just add up our points for the tokens real quick. Sure. We can do a little bit of math. This one's easier for... Okay. Do you want to keep that secret in your head? Uh, no, you can just write it down. I okay. think it's good. Yeah. I have 36 right now. 36. In... I have 43. So it's not actually not super off. And then we are going to score for the... I'm going to actually take these out because okay. I don't want them to confuse me. So take your pile of completed jars. 
-hmm. And we're going to add up the numbers in the top right corner. So. Okay, I have my number. I'm seven. I'm six. Okay. Ooh. Seems like it's going to come down to this. Well, let's give you those points now. How many of those okay, do you have? So I, I have five total. So um, it's going to be two points. Two points? Yeah, because so for every pair, you get... Extra two points. And then, what was your secret... Not to look a color. I was purple. You were purple. I was blue. I was encouraging you to get purples. <gasps> oh, no. Okay. So now, take all of your completed jars and count. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have my number. <laughs> You got blue, you're pretty good. 19. 13. Oh, okay. So I'm I knew you had blue, but yeah. You're gonna do a little bit of math. One second. <laughs> okay, so final scores were Naveen with 57 and me, Monique, with 69. <laughs> nice. So, yeah. It the all blue came down. Did it. What happened to your jars? You didn't have a lot of purple in there? No, they weren't around. Oh, there wasn't that many. Yeah. They were around. What can you did do? Did you have a bunch of purple? Around? Huh? Did you have a bunch of purple? I, did I? I had them here. Yeah, I just I couldn't complete them at the end. Some purple. There wasn't too much purple. Yeah. yeah. So that I guess is a product of, of luck. The cards. Where we're gonna go with the with that, right? Yeah, yeah there was but a lot of blue But that is out there. it. We are all done. That is Noctiluca. I, I must admit, first of all, that we cheated today because uh, this game can be very long if you play with four players and everybody has a significant amount of AP going around the table trying to figure out what the best number is. I didn't cheat. What'd you do? Huh? What'd you do? How'd you cheat? No, I mean, I cheated. we cheated in calling this a filler Friday. Oh, I was like, I didn't cheat. <laughs> I selected the dice. No, no, no. We cheated in calling this a filler because oh. technically it can become long. Yeah. yeah. The box says 30 minutes, but you are constantly looking at the mm. board and like, I can't see the best thing. And then you accidentally give people dice and you're like, oh, I didn't yes. mean to. Like so, at the very end there, I gave you that card. Yeah, you did. That's like a five point. And we also recently realized that a the definition of a filler is different depending on who you ask. So Depends a lot of people. Depends on what region you live in. <laughs> a lot of people will will uh, consider a filler game as being twenty minutes or shorter, where we whereas we push it to thirty. Probably because we play Lacerda games and they're like two hour epics, maybe. three hour epics. Maybe it's thirty minutes. But is so so maybe we can call this a super filler, especially if you play it at two and people take quick turns. Then it is a fast game. It's <laughs> literally it's each person gets twelve turns for the entire game. This is two rounds. Yeah, that's right. And you're just placing upon taking dice. Yeah, that's it. So it is. Um, it is. It can be really quick. Uh, otherwise, it's beautiful. So components wise, they did a great job. Very nice. Yeah. I would say even the artwork on the jar is is endearing, right? Mm -hmm. The colors are all really nice. It has really nice table presence. There might be potential issue with people who have difficulty seeing uh, dif differences in color. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that is a thing, specifically yeah. with the dice. Because the jars, you can discern the differences between them by the, the symbol. That's what we were saying, moons and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Because that is something that they can do. And they actually they actually put symbols on the different uh, Nocta Luca on yeah, the jars themselves. Exactly. So it's the actual physical dice on the board. Sometimes when the board is completely full, yeah, um, it can cause some people who have some issues with, with uh, seeing color. Uh, some Difficulty. problems there. Yeah. But I mean, I think they did a good job in trying to make it as easy as possible by making the colors so, so different. Like, mm -hmm. there's no like yellow. It's not and like orange. pink and red. Yeah. 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 Otherwise, what are your thoughts on this game? So, I think for me, I like this game best at two players um, because there's only 12 spots on, on the game board. So, at a higher player count, you could just be sitting around waiting for your turn where you're not really manipulating the dice on the board mm -hmm. or doing much actions. I like it better at a two-player game because it's back and forth, and I get six turns in in a round. Right. Versus in a in a four-player game, you only get three turns. Yes. You know? And so you're kind of like waiting around, and you can identify certain dice that you want, but it's like, mm. well, my turn's in three turns, so I guess I'll just see what happens, and then that can increase the AP because now the board state has changed so much right, right, uh, right, that right. you're just kind of like, oh, I guess I'll take this one now. You know. So yeah, yeah. I like it best at two. Uh, there is a decent amount of strategy here. Um, it is definitely. It does help to be uh, very aware of both yours and your teammates, or not your teammates, <laughs> sorry, your opponent's uh, cards, because uh, yes. there was a couple times there where I just played right into your, your hand. Uh, 
but that's part of the game. You got to be aware of, you know, your surroundings. So the game is, is ultimately an abstract strategy game um, where you're just basically trying to fulfill orders. So f for me, it's a game that I would play every so often. Mm -hmm. Probably not one that I would want to play all the time. Yep, filler, um, filler, filler style. Yeah, filler style. So for sure. um, yeah, that's pretty much kind of my roundabout picture of the whole game. Mm -hmm. Do you? Yeah, I agree. It is, a, it's very simple. Like this is a very simple game. It's very pleasant. It's like, it's both pleasant and stressful at the same time, mm -hmm. which I think is interesting. Yeah. Because everything about it is kind of like soothing, beautiful, colorful. It's, you're just choosing one number and taking all of the dice in a row. But at the same time, it's like, I need to choose the best number. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I need to choose the best place to put my pawn. I don't want to give them dice, right? I think that that dynamic is interesting. Um, I think the heart of the game, besides the whole calling the number thing, is in the scoring. I think that is where, you know, the, the actual game part of it shines through. Right. Because you're really trying to figure out, okay, which jars do I want to fulfill to have a majority or like, you know, the majorities aren't going to be worth it because so many of these tokens have already been taken. Maybe I just want to continue going for that type of jar in order to score the higher numbered tokens, mm -hmm. right? But at the same time, we all have a secret colored Noctiluca. And when some of the cards only give you one or two bonus points, the Noctiluca secret color is actually a big deal because it's one point yeah, per, per die that you take. So uh, figuring out that dynamic and strategy is is interesting. But like Naveen said, it is, it is simple. It's probably something that we kind of take out every once in a while for specifically for like these filler moments. It's something that you can play easily with uh, family um, like a lunchtime game, that kind of thing. It can cause AP, so watch out for that. And people who you know kind of struggle with that. Um, otherwise, it's it's charming. It has a charming theme. And there is a solo mode, which mm. is nice. Yep. Because it's nice to see games of this way to come with a solo mode for people who enjoy playing that way. So, but yeah, that is Noctiluca. Well, thank you guys so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Bye. Bye.